I just bought the cheapest, smallest, and crappiest MP3 player ever. Why? Let me explain. I think we've all seen him, the affordable wireless guitar systems. One goes into your guitar, the other in your amp. And boom, you can rock out without a cable. But my scientific mindset wanted to know, how far can we go? And I literally mean, how far can we go? I want to make a test rig that pushes the earthbound limits. The plan is to put the transmitter on the drone, fly away as far as possible as we can and see how far we can go before we start to lose signal. But there are a few minor problems we need to overcome. First of all, the guitar is way too heavy to put on the drone, as you can imagine. So right now I'm recording some random noodling that I can put on this MP3 player. So this is the setup I came up with. I start with a sound device, Mix Pre 6, a portable recorder. In this device I'm recording what I'm getting back from the drone. I'm playing my guitar recording in this little device. If all goes well, we should see it in channel 1. There we are. So now I need to attach this unit to the drone. I think the best chance is to put it underneath and I was thinking about just using some elastic band. This is pretty solid, this is not going anywhere if I fly. Cool, I need to know what's happening. So, in order to hear everything, I'm using these in-ear monitors to make sure I hear everything right. So, how high do you think we can fly before the signal cuts? What do you think? What's your guess? 100 meters. 100? I mean, it is clear air, so there's no obstructions, there's no walls. So, I guess it's going pretty far, but 100? Excited! Let's find out. I can't hide it. Yeah. This is the test rig. So, let's first see if the signal is coming through. Oh! Aye! That's not good. So, I'm thinking the magnetic field of the drone is impacting the MP3 player. It's not shielded. Ah, how can we fix it? Maybe we can use an extension cord or something. We're gonna let the MP3 player dangle from the drone. Oh, let's see. <laughs> Looks legit. There we go. I'm hearing the guitar. Let's see how far we can go. <laughs> We're up 25 meters. I'm still wearing it very clearly. Oh, it's drifting away. At this point, the cables were flying all over the place, and the drone was very hard to fly. So I decided to go back. A few things. The drone was drifting because it's pretty windy and the MP3 player and the receiver were dangling and I was afraid they would cut up in the rotors and crash in the river. So we might need to rethink the dangling thing. Where's the tape? Something like this should do. Put it on play. Oh, there she is again. So right now we're at 20 meters, still crystal clear sound. 30 meters. Let me point the camera down. Let's see if we can see ourselves. <laughs> so let's move up. 30 meters. Fifty. Ooh, I heard some crackling. Fifty meters. I hear. Oh yeah, fifty meters. It's definitely cracking. Let's move up. Let's try sixty. Oh yeah, this is definitely. It's very distorting right now. Hiccups. But still, I mean, if you play a show, a rock show, nobody would care. Just say it's part of the show. 70. 
75. Let's make some cinematic drone for Wow, check out the boats. Woo! That's crazy. Pretty beautiful view from up there. And it's got music, it sounds beautiful. Oh man, I love it. So let's try heading 100 meters up in the sky. Ninety. One hundred. It's so tiny. It is beautiful. Wow, look at Holland. Isn't Holland beautiful? It is not super solid, but it is like the same when it was at 50 meters high. I feel like when it's more windy, the signal starts to drop more. I'm getting down. Now I noticed getting down took forever because the down-facing sensors were blocked, so the drone thought it was close to the ground, therefore reducing speed. There we are. There she is. Whew. So it is pretty windy out here and the drone is a little bit uh, shaken up because of the weight added and the sensors blocking and the wind. So I'm not feeling super comfortable flying this thing like all over the place, I'm calling it a day. Next day, new solution. So right now I'm using an old smartphone with a wireless system attached to it. The quality of the MP3 player was just shitty. So new solutions and right now I'm just gonna fly away until we don't hear anything anymore. I recorded some new guitars to keep it fresh and because I'm flying up and away we need to use the Pythagorean theorem to calculate the distance to the drone. That's the number I'm showing in the top left corner. There's quite some cracking right now. Oh! This sounds pretty crappy. <laughs> yeah, it's gone. We're gone. We're dead. This is lo-fi. Lo-fi rock music. It sounds pretty cool. <laughs> Drone is now 160 meters and more than 500 feet away from the recorder. And as you can hear, the signal is completely gone. And it's gone. Let's fly it back before it crashes. Welcome back, baby. <laughs> so, artifacts started to happen at around 50 meters and the signal was completely dead at 160 meters. And to thank you for watching, I'd like to share with you a free guitar training I put together that turned out awesome. Uh, we're diving into the right mindset, a practice roadmap and more to successfully learn the guitar. And also there's a free bonus lesson in there that's really, really fun. Check it out at freeguitartraining.com. This was Paul and have a wonderful day. Cheers.